Like you deserve to have this healthy, happy life that you want. You deserve to wear the size clothes that you want to wear. You deserve to be able to move freely without your knees or your ankles hurting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, and here on my channel, we're all about creating a life you love. So that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. So today we're talking all about, we need to stop this self-sabotaging behavior, especially when it comes to our weight loss journey. I don't know about y'all, but like I've been on this weight loss journey what feels like literally my whole life, like literally. I've been so close at moments of my life, and then I just, self-sabotage it like I don't even know if I was like consciously doing this but like I will literally ruin so much good work like at the like at the drop of a dime and it's like if you want something so bad why aren't you letting yourself get it like and this can apply outside of like weight loss like why are you going all out for something and you get close and you just stop and you just let it fail then it's like at that point you are reaffirming failure in your mind so it's like your mind is going to prepare you like i told you you weren't going to do it told you, you weren't going to do it you're not going to do it anyway so it's like that kind of weighs on your confidence so you got to stop that in general so today i'm going to be giving you guys five tips that are going to help you kind of start to get this behavior in check honestly because it's a lot of like inner work that you might have to do throughout this process and i feel like that it's just weight loss in general because I feel like we hold on to weight for a certain reason. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. So first things first is we have to identify the trigger. What is making you self-sabotage? What is stopping you in your tracks from not getting what you want to get done? It's like you can want something so bad, you can get so close and then you just like stop. Like what is that? Why? Is it stress? Is it like a bad breakup? Is it like an emotional thing? Is it like you don't feel like you're deserving of it? Like what exactly is the trigger? Because once we figure out the trigger, we can heal whatever the wound is. And then that way we can have a different reaction to whatever the situation is going on and actually get the thing that we want. Like it is a, honestly, it is a fear. The reason you're not getting something is because it is a fear. So what are you afraid of in this situation? Like, how can we get a handle on this? How can we fix the fear or fix the whatever is going on? If you don't know what the trigger is, like you really can't think about it. Next time you start to notice this self-sabotaging behavior, write it down. Like write down what's going through your head, what's going on in life, like to kind of figure out because it might just be a pattern. And we got to break the pattern. So that can be done by writing it down so you can actually get to the bottom of this so we can actually start achieving the things that we want to achieve. Like weight loss. Tip number two is you got to check those negative thoughts. Like when you reaffirm negative self-talk, you are not giving yourself the confidence to even believe in yourself. And a lot of times these negative thoughts don't even belong to you. Like somebody planted those seeds in your head, whether it was the enemy, your mom, your dad, your friends, your bullies, like at some place these negative thoughts came to you, but that doesn't mean that they have to stay with you. And it's like, why are we holding on to something that hurt us so much? And like, why do we believe it? That's really the thing. So once you start to notice, like you're starting to talk negative about yourself or you're starting to be like doubtful about yourself, you have to stop that shit like right in his tracks. And you have to like speak life into yourself, speak positivity into yourself. Like you deserve to have this healthy, happy life that you want. You deserve to wear the size clothes that you want to wear. You deserve to be able to move freely without your knees or your ankles hurting because baby, these knees and ankles be hurting so you deserve to live a happy joyful life but you have to tell yourself that and most importantly you have to believe that because if you don't believe it if you have any amount of doubt in you you'll manifest that doubt so let's manifest some positivity and really start to really check ourselves when we get to talking negative about ourselves or speaking negative about ourselves or having negative thoughts like check that shit like let it go put it out Take it to the trash. Bye. So tip number three is going to be to set realistic goals. As I told you guys, I think I told you guys in the beginning, I lost about 32 pounds, but I want to lose 30 more. Um, I am getting married for one. And two, I just want to feel comfortable in my body. I don't feel comfortable in my body. And a lot of people will say like, oh, it's nothing wrong with you. Like you look fine. You don't look fat or whatever. But it's like, 
it's not about what other people feel it's about what you feel so you have to set realistic goals and expectations for yourself so like i said i want to lose 30 pounds so a way that i'm setting this goal up is i'm giving myself 90 days literally to get rid of this weight 90 days and that means that i have to stop doing this self-sabotaging behavior for one because i i always get so close and then i just ruin it so i'm giving myself 90 days and when i think about 30 pounds it's 15 plus 15 so let's focus on the first 15 and then the next 15 and that way it's more manageable like even if you have to lose more than 30 pounds when you think about it like oh my god i need to lose 60 pounds that sounded so crazy to me in the beginning like i need to lose 60 pounds i need to lose 60 pounds and now here i am halfway done with the 60 so it's like if you put like smaller goals within or even like if it's not like a number goal, like say I want to get into a size six pants or I want to wear a size small shirt or something like that. Like you have to be able to put some non-scale victories in there as well because sometimes the scale just don't be moving. And I'm, just, I'm not going to hold you up. Like sometimes it just don't be moving. Like so we can't always focus on the number, but I, that's hard for me to say because I'm a very big focus on the number kind of girl unfortunately obsessed um so let's go on to tip number four tip number four is you have to develop healthy habits and it's like if you've had a weight problem like i'm about to be 30 next year like if i had this weight problem for what 25 years i have built up trashy habits from the age of five or whenever i started to put on weight it's like you have to break that cycle like and 25 years of work doesn't just go away easily. You have to be dedicated and you have to actually want to do the change. It starts with having like a, ba a more balanced life. Um, sometimes people feel like, oh, I don't have time to work out or um, I don't want to make it my whole life. But like sometimes like my hair is done right now. So like I'm not going to go to like I went to the gym this morning. But like tomorrow I'm probably going to do something that's more like low impact so I can still feel like. I can go somewhere or I can like look presentable and even at work like I walk the building in my downtime and that is setting that healthy habit of me making sure I'm moving my body because I feel like a lot of times people start to put on weight like once they get into like a sedentary like lifestyle like so once I actually started having like a real office job I did notice like the weight started to pack on because after college I was kind of decent but it was like once you get into that habit of Oh, I gotta go to work. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna get a pastry. And it's just like these habits, like at work, it's like, what are we eating today? Like, it's like bad habits that you literally have to change. Like, you have to create new habits to replace the old ones. So, this also comes with having some proper nutrition. Um, I don't know about y'all, but like, I've been looking at the labels on foods here lately, and it's just like, is this even real food? Like the labels on foods are so freaking long now. And it's like, it's literally to me, it seems like all chemicals in the food. A lot of the labels now say bioengineer ingredients. Like, please tell me what that means down below. Cause that even sounds freaky. Like why am I buying something that says that? And it's literally on everything. It's on shit like even baking powder. Like what does that mean? Bioengineer ingredients, like really? You have to learn how to do some like healthy swaps so i love carbs i love pasta but pasta does not love me when i tell you i will bloat up like seven pounds of water weight like it just don't like me so i i usually have to do like gluten-free options if i really want pasta but i have this nice little spaghetti squash swap that i love to do um, I have the recipe on my TikTok, so if you guys want to check out the spaghetti swatch video, it is on my TikTok at Sierra on social. But, like, I love a good healthy swap. So if you guys are interested in finding, like, you know, healthy swaps to your favorite meals or your favorite foods, I can do a video on that. I can show you guys some of my swaps, and if you are looking for a swap for a certain thing, I can kind of help you find out a good swap. Because when I tell you, like... You just got to change out the things like you can still enjoy food and still enjoy life. You just have to figure out an alternative that tastes good to you. Five is to seek support. Um, this could look like going to a group where people talk about weight loss or you can be on social media and kind of find a community that works for you. Um, 
friends and family if they are on the same page. And the thing is, you have to be around people who are aligned with you because if you're around people who are like, ain't nothing wrong with you, you don't need to do that. It's like, it'll plant seeds in your head, which might send you on a spiral and self-sabotage spree. Or like they'll kind of push you out the way to like do things that you know you shouldn't be doing. Like, oh, let's go here. Let's go to brunch. Let's go here. And it's like, they're not setting you up for success. So make sure that you're around people who truly support your goals and will help you along the way, honestly. Um, my friend actually referred this book to me, uh, um, The Mountain Is You. And it's just like talking all about self-sabotage and like how we literally want something so bad, but literally so scared to get it. Like, and I'm at the moment in my life where it's just like, I'm done being scared. Like I want everything that I want and I'm going to go after it. And that's starting with this body. I'm going to get the dream body that I want. I don't know if it's going to happen in these 90 days, but it's going to happen. I'm going to lose this 30 pounds in these 90 days. Um, and that brings me to my last point that I want to share here with you guys. I am doing this challenge. I'm going to lose this 30 pounds in 90 days. I'm also going to be launching a new business in, the, in this 90 days. And then my main goal for me is to just truly be consistent. Like, that is the problem. I will not be consistent. So that is my goal. I have to be consistent in this journey. But I'm, I'm going to get it done. And I can't wait to, like, refer back to this video like, guys, I did it. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you are struggling with weight loss, trust me, I know. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Like I've said, I'm down 32 pounds and I've been able to keep it off and manage to just keep it off, honestly. And that could be the tricky part. Like you can lose weight, but still like have trouble managing it. So if you have trouble with that, I would love to do a video on my tips and tricks for staying on track. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.